your girl Empress Zynga and welcome to Artist Speaks. This time around though, we're going to be changing it up just a little bit and hanging out with Mahalia from Mahalia's Corner. We're going to be talking about what is coming up this season. But first, let me shout out our sponsors, very, very important. That would be Parhelion 120 Stage Lighting. We got Azifos Creations, Mocha Hair Designs, um, Sam by Makeup by Sam. Did I forget anybody? My cameraman tell me no, you gotta be important with these things. But anyhow, sponsors, thanks so much for bringing us up this time around. We are gonna be right back to talk a little bit more with Mahalia. Parhelion 120 Stage Lighting. Specialists in illuminating theater plays, concerts, weddings, cocktail parties, nightlife and entertainment spaces. For further information, see their Instagram page at Parhelion Lighting their email at parhelion120 at yahoo.com or contact CEO and founder Nathan Gibbons 831-9506 Parhelion 120 Stage Lighting Intelligent, Creative, Affordable I see you on the still here so thanks for watching As I said before, this Artist Speak section is mostly going to be around Mahalia's Corner and of course Mahalia, founder of said Mahalia's Corner What's up? I just here. <laughs> so, for those who might not know about Mahalia's Corner, could you tell me what it is, what the show is about, history maybe? Uh, Mahalia's Corner is a vibe. <laughs> it's a movement, it's a festival, it's a celebration of untapped talent and veteran talent. It's a place to come and share your art and in like a, a safe space a sounding board, a practice room, all of these things. It is really a celebration. So the festival basically started, well it didn't start as a festival, it started as an outlet because some people may not know Mahalia is into more than one facet of the arts. She's a dancer, she's a I I don't like that term. <laughs> I'm a dancer, I'm a writer of poetry and songs and as well as a vocalist for Two Mile Hill as people will know. So there, was, I needed an outlet to, to to show people, to show the fans and my friends and my family that I'm still doing these other things. I'm not just singing because back in the day, I used to go to poetry slams all over the place, La More Juice, yes. Iron Sharp, and I remember <laughs> talk hard voices like all the way back when we used to have a lot of that stuff going on in Barbados. But then, like it kind of just fell off, you know. And I knew that people were hungry for it. I was hungry for it, so I know that people were also hungry for it. So between Andrea and myself, and big ups to Alice Shepherd and like Le Cafe at the time, which was then Bump and Wine I after remember. we started, like for giving us the space and the freedom to, to kind of mold this thing into what is now the festival that has been for this corner. All right, now tell me about the format now of Mahalia's Corner. What are some of the things that we could probably look out for for this season? Well, this season and every season carries a format of having Two Mile Hill, which is the integral part of Mahalia's Corner, because mm -hmm. you know, um, which then is followed by the open mic session, yeah. which is really important, and spotlight artists who are always a surprise and it's always a treat for the audience. And then we have our featured artists who are people ranging from new talent to very experienced talent who come out and more or less be inspiration and uh, guidance for artists that might be in the audience or you know that come out specifically to see them. All right, so you've mentioned to Mal Hill. And I know as an avid Mahalia's Cornean, <laughs> that sounds so corny. <laughs> but as somebody who goes every season, you guys open up the show and you present yourself to everyone. Okay. Um, what is it now this year you got in store for people in terms of the band? Well, to my hell, always, we can't always try to up the thing every season um, because we are a pretty versatile band, even though we make our own music, which is along a certain line. We like to use the corner as a really creative space, like a place to just be free and do what we feel like with the music. So people can look out for a lot of stuff that they know, something very different, <laughs> right? <laughs> and we don't, we don't only do it with ourselves, we also, because we, we also support the featured artists and the spotlight artists and we tend to bring them into the fold of being open to changes in the music and the arrangement just for a fresh new look at something that people might already be familiar with. Yeah, and I know 
from seeing Andre on stage, in terms of Mihaly's corner, I don't know where he comes up with the ideas for the arrangements, but they just move, they glide, they gel, it's ever so seamless. And you can hear so many different songs, but they sound like they should be one song. Right. It's just so perfect. Yeah. Um, now, in terms of the arrangements now, I know you got your featured artist, one of the biggest Beja artists that we have on our soil, and that's Lil Rick. Tell me about Mr. Lil Rick. Well, Lil Rick, about <laughs> business, all the names that he has, he is just, a, he's always been an inspiration to me, and I know I can speak for the rest of the band in the same, in the same light. From time small, he was somebody who was really inspirational on a Bajan side of things. Like, it's so admirable how Bajan he is, and it's not like something that he puts on. It's just his personality. He's the same all the time. Like, even though when he off stage, he's getting like, yeah, <laughs> real subdued. Like, you would never believe it. But he he just has an energy about him that's so infectious and so welcoming that he was just a no brainer for the corner. And last season we had him. Walk up, go big time. You just design hard. Let the structure go fine. Pull out. And it was like we got rare reviews, but like just working with him was amazing. So like it was almost like there was no thought about it. Like he had to come back this year. And it was so it was such a great um, opportunity to have him open the season. So I'm actually very, very excited for, for people to see what we have in store for the season and premiere. I'm excited. Now tell me who else is gonna be around for the rest of Mihelia's Corner. Okay, so we have a few repeat features that are coming back to Blast the Stage again, and we got some new people we are excited to show off in a different light. So coming up after a little bit, we have the man Biggie Irie. Yes! Biggest voice in history. <laughs> <laughs> we got Marsville, mm -hmm. who is someone people are really, really excited about because a lot of people wouldn't know him outside of buying them and yes. <laughs> I want to give it to him, right? So, that's gonna be really exciting, I'm sure, for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. After that, we got Bar Girl Nikita, Ooh -ooh. who we love, love dearly. She's really like family. Mm -hmm. And for our season finale, that's like super special, and I'm like, I got goosebumps <laughs> thinking about it right now because it means so much for the corner itself. We have our first regional featured artist. Nice. And Patrice Roberts from Trinidad and Tobago, who is someone whose voice is phenomenal on every song. Like her energy is amazing, and I've seen her when I saw her when she first came out as an artist, working with Michelle and that sort of thing. Up until now, where she's just like stellar on her own and doing things, being a phenomenal woman, you know, <laughs> coming out and performing with she big pregnant, <laughs> and, yeah. you know, like unstoppable. So I am really, really excited to have her close out our season finale and I just I can't wait I can't wait for people to get a taste of it you know okay so we talked about the format of the Helios Corner went into some of the featured artists but I want going now into something that's really important to you and that is the open mic segment of Mahalia's Corner could you tell me why that's so important to you um, it, it's really important because of my start. My start of performing on stage is performing for audiences, starting to get comfortable okay. interacting, like being in front of a crowd. Because anyone who's ever performed or who wants to perform has had maybe a, like nerve wracking moments of thinking about performing for an audience. And then there are people who want to be artists. And maybe only sing at home in the shower. And it's like I don't know what it's gonna be like. Maybe I saw a real estate, you know what I mean? But but like open mics were the thing that gave me the confidence okay. to know that I could be a singer on a stage in front of people. So like I wanna afford people that opportunity, you know? Or maybe even if you don't wanna be an artist, you may want to just share this one thing, like how you have this message or you have this feeling that you need to get out. It might be a stepping stone, like for to go further. It might just be one moment in time, but you just needed that one moment. So like, it, it's just really important on so many levels. And just because it was the way I started, it's something that just always needs to be a part of the corner for me. Have you seen any people from the open mics at Mahalia's Corner branch off into bigger and better things? Well, we actually have had people come in the open mic and then become spotlight artists. And then we've had spotlight artists who've become featured artists. For instance, we had Joaquin, who yeah. was a spotlight artist, who became a featured artist. We also had Chian, 
become a so so it can really be a development step mm -hmm. and and it, it always feels really good to have that happen when we know there's someone that wants to be an artist that we can actually give them that platform to just go to the next level all right so you let people palette now for open mic and having the courage to go up and go and perform to all of these patrons that are there waiting to hear them sing and whatnot but how you get the open mic though? <laughs> the open mic is the easiest thing to get on. To actually get a lot of um, messages asking how you get the open mic. But it's so simple. All you need to do is get a ticket at any of the box offices, Wine Worlds, all the Wine World locations, readytickettv.com, even at LESC. And come in the show. Just come, <laughs> come in the show. And at the intermission, I will come and take names. It's not, you ain't got audition, you ain't got email me, like you don't got send in your music. Like it's just, it is a free open section for anyone who gets his spirit to come on stage and share. Like it's real easy. Welcome to Makeup by Sam, your space to be pampered. Services include Nova Lash, Scalp Micropigmentation, Bridal, Event, Film, and Theater Makeup eyebrow threading and grooming, personal makeup classes and consultations available. Contact Sam at 234-6194 or email at imakeupbysam at gmail.com. Makeup by Sam. Call and make your booking today. Need that perfect accessory to complement your style? Azifo's Creations has the perfect pieces for you. From copper and stainless steel jewelry embellished with semi-precious stones, clutch bags, purses, and leather shoes. Custom pieces also available. Contact Aziza Onifa, 267-1100 or empress underscore Aziza at hotmail.com or you can visit their shop in Pelican Village. Azifo's Creations, made by royalty for royalty. All right, and we are back. I see when I went and get some tickets, so 10 points for you. Mahalia, where can we find Mahalia's Corner online? Mahalia's Corner is on Instagram, just at Mahalia's Corner, and on Facebook. So just search Mahalia's Corner and you should like me and follow me. Yes, you should do that. You really should. You can get all the information at those places, like the times, the artists, like doors open at 7, the show starts at 8 p.m. And we start this Sunday, September 17th, with Lil Rick as a season premiere featured artist. <laughs> and yeah, like it's, it's really simple. It's really simple to come to the show. It's really simple to get into the open mic. It's really simple to find out all the information. So just check us out on social media. Well, guys, you hear what the woman said? Go and get some tickets. And you know, if you want to go and be on the open mic, you know what to do. Go and purchase your tickets from any outlet. You can go on IG, you can go on Facebook and find out where those are. You can go and see the long list of artists that are going to be there. And Patrice Roberts coming from Trinidad to come and perform. You best go and get a ticket and get it quick because I know that I can be in there front row and center hollering hard. Here I tell you, hard. So this has been Artist Peeps with Mahalia's Corner. Thank you for Thanks for having me. That was fun. Yes. I also have to make up once again our sponsors for Helium 120 lighting. Got here look special. Now you got green and purple and tan. You look real nice. I look nice. Everyone looks nice here. Of course, I have to big up my girl, Mocha Hair Designs, who did my hair. Makeup by Sam. Please go and check her out. Bomb makeup artist. Of course, Creep Productions and Azifo's Creations. I am your girl, Empress Singer, and I'm going to be seeing you guys somewhere sometime soon.